Hey guys, it's uh, Jay Tita here talking about rest-based training. A lot of people are starting to get the concept of rest-based training, which is essentially leaving the rest up to the individual client or group exercise participant. Essentially what we mean by that in rest-based training is that we allow the participant to take rest when they need it and for as long as they need it. This is based on self-determination theory and the idea that giving autonomy of workout parameters over to an exerciser results in them working harder, not less hard. In this concept, we use a one to four exertion scale and a one to four recovery scale. One on the exertion scale means the person is at rest, complete rest. Two on that exertion scale means the person is aware of exertion, but there's no burning in the muscle, they can still talk, and the weight they are lifting is, is light. Three on that exertion scale is the point where the person can no longer talk, there is burning in the muscle and the weight is beginning to get really heavy. And four is that point where they have to rest. So we use that one to four exertion scale to teach people that we're trying to get them to that four. Once they get to that resting point, that one to four scale can also be used as a recovery scale. So on that recovery scale, four is the point where that person cannot exert themselves at all anymore. Obviously, they just pushed themselves to the point of rest. Three is that point where they feel somewhat recovered, but there is no way they could exert their maximum intensity. Two is where they're starting to feel recovered, and it is possible to do another maximum burst. And one is that point where they're back at complete rest. So this one to four scale can be used both for exertion and recovery. And what we like to tell people to do is push yourself up to that four, that point where you have to rest, and then come back down to that two until you feel recovered enough to exert the same intensity again. And by teaching them this back and forth, four to two, exertion and recovery, they can effectively regulate exercise. And that's what rest-based training is really all about.